Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials and today, specifically, if you are in Jira Premium, I'm going to be teaching you how to take your custom issue type that you can create, which I've covered in a previous video, and how to basically make it so that the Epic can be a child of that issue type. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, drop a like, and if you have any questions about anything that I covered today, please make sure you drop a comment below and I will do my best to get to it. With that said, let's jump into Jira. And welcome back. I just wanted to reiterate that in order to do what I'm about to show you, you must be a Jira Premium user. And what the easiest way for you to find out if you have Jira Premium or not is look at your navigation bar if you see this word plans, you're good. You have Jira Premium. If you don't, if you just see people, then apps, then you're on Jira Standard. And what I'm about to show you is not going to work. However, don't, don't click away yet because what I'm going to show you is going to be very enticing and it's probably going to solve a big problem or a big headache. And so you're going to want to watch this video to make sure that I am going to address your problem. And then you're going to want to go talk to your procurement or whoever is managing Jira and have them upgrade because I guarantee you that this feature is worth it. The way that we're going to move forward is first, we have some prerequisites. If you haven't seen one of my previous videos, I have a video where I actually walked you through creating an issue type. And I'm just going to quickly review in case you haven't seen it. So go to settings, go to issues. And the main thing is under issue types, you just want to have something beyond the out of the box stuff. So I created an initiative issue type. And again, go watch that other video because it's going to be very important for you to watch so you can see how we create issue types in Jira. I have a special dedicated video just for that. So go watch that, hit pause on this one and then come back. All right. So now that you have your basically that new issue type created, one of the first steps we're going to take is we're actually going to put this issue type and we're going to assign it to a project. Again, I have a separate video where I teach you how to do that. So if you haven't done that or seen that video, hit pause here. I'm going to give you a very quick, I'm just going to do it myself. But if you want the full details, you're going to want to go watch that other video because I'm going to do it with a little bit more detail and, and actually show you. So anyways, I'm just going to go into a random project here that I have. Make sure it's a software, make sure it's a company because it's probably going to work best if you're in one of those two. Go to project settings. You will be able to see issue types here on the left. Again, I'm going qu kind of quick only because I already have an, a video that I recommend you go watch, but you can slow this one down. I'm basically going through the same steps. You're going to see that there's an available issue type here. You're going to drag it from the available over to the ones in your current scheme. You're going to click save. And what this basically means is now this project, this custom scholar scrum one that I have here, this now has the ability to have initiatives. And what that means is I can click create. And when I go to my drop down, I now see the initiative issue type. So that's perfect. That's what you want. You want this issue type that you just created to actually show up on a project. Once you do that, the next step is for you to be pretty much in any screen. This shortcut will work, except if you are inside of an actual issue. So if you're like, if your screen looks like this, where you can see the actual issue itself and full screen, this shortcut will not work. So don't try it here. But as long as you're anywhere else, like I'm on the board right now, if you're in the backlog, roadmap, wherever you're at, as long as you're not inside of an issue, click in this white space between the blue create button and the search, click in here and type GG on your keyboard. If you do that fast enough, that's going to trigger a little modal that's going to give you a pop up like this. And apparently it didn't work in active sprints either. So I am in backlog and I did it from there. Once you're there, type in advanced and then you'll see that the search for advanced roadmaps hierarchy configuration pops up. Click on that. Once you're in that, you're going to this again, just to reiterate, this only works if you're in the premium version of Jira cloud. And so you're going to want to click here on create level and you're going to give it a name, whatever you want. I'm going to call it the same thing as my issue type. And so I'll click on that. And then I'm going to click here and you can see that my initial type initiative is there already. And you could technically reorder stuff. Uh, specifically, if you add more items, you can reorder those. 
but most teams are going to need one level up. You can do two, three, however many you want. Just be careful because you can get out of hand here uh, if you get too creative. So uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to go with one layer above it. And then I'm going to show you how this all falls to pieces. So just make sure you hit save. And then once this is saved, you're going to want to smash that subscribe button because I am going to show you how to actually use it in the next video. So again, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, drop a like if you like this video. And if you have any questions about anything that I covered, make sure you drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.